Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see a basic problem on section of solid. So this problem comes under the unit called unit 4. Actually unit 4 is given to two different of. One we will be having section of solid and second of we will be having development of surfaces. So today we are going to see a problem on section of cube. So initially I will be explaining the problem question and then I will be explaining how to write the given data and later on I will be explaining how to draw the diagram step by step. It's very easy problem and one more important thing is the same problem has been asked in university for many times. So it's very very important problem. A cube of side 40 mm is placed. So what kind of solid we are going to draw? We are going to draw cube. Cube means base diagram will be square. So you know very well. So the base diagram which we are going to draw will be a square. So we can draw either this way or this way. So either time we, have to going, to, we are going to choose it up. So side 40 mm. So side 40 mm. So each side will be 40 mm. And cut by a plane in such a way that true shape of the section is a regular hexagon. So true shape we should get hexagon. We should cut the cube in such a way that we should get the true shape as hexagon. Draw the front view, top view and uh, determine the inclination of plane, cutting plane with the HP. So what they are asking us, we need to draw the front view, top view and what is the inclination of the cutting plane they are asking but they haven't given any hint regarding the cutting plane. So it's a special type problem as I said earlier. So we have to deal the problem in such a way that we should cut the cube so that the true shape should be a hexagon. So initially I will be telling how to draw. So these two options we are having right. So we will be getting some doubt. So we have to choose which option either this one or this one. So if we want to get the true shape of, true shape of the section as hexagon, we should go with this one. Okay, we should go with this one. We should not draw this one. The reason is, so if we choose this type of square only, so if we cut the cutting plane in such a way that we will be getting a hexagon and uh, resting they haven't said anything. So in case if question they give, they, if they didn't give anything means you can directly assume and draw the diagram, draw the base diagram in HP. So resting will be HP and orientation, we will be going with corner orientation, see here, corner orientation. So we have to going to choose only this type of square and proceed the diagram and uh, just follow all the instructions it will be very easy for you to draw the diagram. First step is you need to draw the reference line. So draw the reference line and write as X, Y, V, P, H, P. The next step is we are going to draw the top view. As I said before we just going to go with the second square that is like diamond shape square only we are going to go. So you know how to draw the square. So just draw the square and you know very well it's a cube right. So topmost portion we will be having uh, A, B, C, D as an alphabet and bottommost portion we will be having P, Q, R, S as an alphabet. So see here you have to name like this A, B, C, D. Top surface is over. Bottom surface P, Q, R, S. So we have named all the uh, all the corners and edges of the uh, cube. So this is how we have to name it up. Right now we have drawn the front view, uh, top view. Then what we need to do is we just need to project all the points and draw the front view. The next step is we are going to draw the front view. See here, uh, you know already we drawn the square. Side of the square is 40 mm. So all the sides will be 40 mm. Since it is a cube, mean height will also be 40 only. So Take your scale, keep your scale here in such a way that you have to uh, get the point, this point in reference axis. Keep your scale here, parallel and perp oh, sorry, perpendicular to, I mean, vertically, you just keep your scale, just try to get the point here. Keep your scale here and try to get the point, three points on the reference line. And you know very well height of the cube is same, so 40 mm. So for 40 mm, we draw a line and try to draw this box. Naming when we see from here, okay. When we see from here, you can see A and P, right? So A dash. So top surface is A B C D and bottom surface is P Q R S. So you can see A, so A dash. You can see B, but you can't see D. So B dash bracket D dash. You can see C, so C dash. You can see P, so P dash. You can see Q, but you can't see S. Yes. So Q dash bracket S dash. You can see R, so R dash. Right now we have completed the front view and top view of the cube. Next thing we are going to draw the cutting plane. 
So now we will be drawing the cutting plane. So for this sum, I will just give a hint how to draw the cutting plane. See, you have to bisect three lines. So first line is you have to bisect a dash and b dash. How much ever the distance may be, just put your uh, keep your mark in the half of it. Just bisect this line and keep half of it your point. Bisect this line and keep uh, your point here. Bisect this line that is q dash to r dash. Bisect this line and keep it dot here. Now what we are going to do, we are bisecting three lines. So a dash, b dash, keep the point at the center. b dash, q dash, keep the point at center. q dash, r dash, keep the point at center. Now just connect all the points and draw the cutting plane. See how I am connecting it. So your cutting plane should be drawn with your HP pencil and should be very dark. You have to leave one mm gap here. You have to leave one mm gap here and then you have to extend it. Same way you have to leave one mm gap here and try to extend it back side. So this is how we need to draw the cutting plane and then I will uh, tell you how to mark the cutting points. So here how I am marking the cutting points. So this is the way you need to mark the cutting points. See how many cutting points will be here. Two cutting points will be that is a dash to b dash one cutting point a dash to d dash second cutting point. At this point also two cutting point. The reason is b dash to q dash one cutting point d dash to s dash uh, one cutting point. Here if you take means two cutting points will be there. That is q dash to r dash one cutting point and s dash to r dash will be another cutting point. So totally six cutting points are there. See how I am naming one dash 2 dash, 3 dash, reverse, backwards, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash. So this is the way you need to name. If you take 1 dash means it is lying between A dash and B dash. You have to project this cutting point, project all the cutting points to your top view so that you can get the sectional top view. They are asking sectional top view, right? So they haven't asked. Uh, okay, even if they didn't ask also you can uh, draw it up. Just extend vertically all the cutting points to your top view so that you can get the sectional top view here. 1 dash is between a dash and b dash ok so just try to extend it uh, so that you will be getting one uh, cutting point one here that is if you try to extend the cutting point vertically 1 dash is lying between a dash and b dash so okay, you will be getting a point here so I will mark and tell you so that it will be very clear for you see how I am marking 1 dash is lying between a dash and b dash so try to extend this cutting point downwards vertically in such a way that 1 dash is within a dash and b dash means between a and b you will be getting 1 2 dash is between b and q means at b q we are uh, meeting at a single point only so this is the point number 2 uh, 3 dash is between q dash and r dash q dash q and r ok if you try to extend this cutting point vertically downwards it will be meeting the, this edge at this point and we can name it as 3 4 dash is between q and r no, no, yes and R, 4 dash is between S and R. So between S and R we can mark 4. That is if you extend this point, it will be meeting at this line at one point. That point is 4. 5 dash is between D and S. So D and S are meeting at the same point. So we can keep this point as 5. 6 is between A and D. Between A and D, if you try to extend it, you can get 6 points. So as of now, we got all the 6 points. Just join all the points and do hatching. See how I have drawn the hatching. So just to join all, connect all the points 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6. Hatching, all we need to do is uh, hatching angle should be 45 degree. So, hatching angle will be 45 degree. So, how to do hatching is you can draw anywhere. See, uh, draw a line and uh, draw this line for 45 degree. This angle will be 45 degree means. Uh, just you have to draw all the lines parallelly. Keep the scale here. Try to move it in parallel way. No need to measure and all. And you have to leave equal spacing alone. So hatching angle should be 45 degree. You can draw anywhere. Even here also you can draw. Just draw a line. Just draw a line and take a 45 degree. This angle will be 45 degree. You keep on moving your scale means you can hatch the sectional top view uh, neat and clean. So you should leave equal spacing and you should draw with your HP pencil. So whatever uh, hexagon we got here is called the sectional top view. After cutting this, whatever we get, it's called the sectional top view. And we have to darken this one. Just darken this portion because once you cut me, this portion will be removed. This portion will be removed. So we will be having with the remaining portion alone. So you have to darken and show so that it will be very easy for you to understand. 
the next step is very very important we are going to draw the true shape of the section how to draw is see here we are having the cutting plane right here you have to draw another plane that is you have to draw another reference line parallel to the cutting plane see if this is the cutting plane means this line should be drawn parallel away from the front view it should not touch the diagram so this distance is not important you can draw anywhere but see to it since if you draw in a3 sheet mean you will be having some space so there is no distance no specified distance between here to here it's it's purely depending upon you uh, you have to draw a reference plane parallel to the cutting plane and the length of the reference plane and all is not matter it's our own wish so draw in such a way that it should you, uh, it should uh, be equal see uh, uh, whatever distance you have here same distance you should ha have here also so it should not be one line will be bigger one side is bigger one side smaller don't draw so on the whole when we see it should be seeing as a uh, unique one okay so next thing is uh, take your compass okay take your compass keep your compass at the reference line keep your compass at the reference line measure from reference line till here take your compass keep your compass in reference line measure from reference line to 6 and uh, so forgotten to tell one thing you have to extend all this blue line how to extend this see here we are having 6 cutting points right 1 2 3 so 3 from the 3 cutting points you have to extend the line perpendicularly okay you have to extend the line perpendicularly you have to keep on extending all the 3 lines perpendicularly 90 degree okay just extend all the lines uh, these lines should be drawn with your 2 edge pencil okay draw very very lightly extend all the lines uh, vertically perpendicularly and uh, after that what you need to do is you have to take your compass keep your compass at reference line and measure till 6 so from this new reference line you have to keep your point you have to cut an arc so that that point is called as 6 point from the reference line measure till 1 so from here you have to cut an arc so that point is called as 1 1 from reference line measure 5 and try to cut an arc and name it as 5 1 from reference line till 6 till 2 measure from here and try to cut an arc so from reference line till 4 measure and keep your uh, compass here and cut an arc from reference line till 3 keep your compass here and cut an arc so what we did is we have just formed all the points whatever dimension uh, whatever dimension is uh, from reference line till this point the same we should have here and one more thing is uh, another uh, well, another method is also that without using the compass also you can do it that is by you just by using the scale just measure this distance and keep your point just measure this distance and keep your point like that also we can do so whichever is convenient for you you just do it up so since we already used the naming 1 2 3 4 i have just used 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 now just join all the points so that and just join all the points that is your true shape and hatch the hatch your true shape of the section so just connect all the points connect from 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 1 and you have to draw with your HP pencil and hatching whatever did you did here same hatching you should do hatching angle will be 45 degree draw any draw a line and from uh, draw a line with the reference you just mark a 45 degree and with this reference you draw parallel lines and mark the hatching here whatever you got here this is called the true shape of the section and later on you have to draw all unmounted lines see you can draw these after uh, completing it so that your diagram will be looking good you can also draw these lines also these lines blue color lines and all should be drawn with your 2 edge pencil and you have to darken here okay this is the part which we are having uh, draw this diagram with uh, 2 edge uh, pencil and uh, from this portion you have to mark just use your HP pencil and draw the cutting plane and just darken whatever I shown in your green color chalk okay and dimensioning two things we going to dimension one is uh, cube height and uh, cube side and uh, writing your number and all you should write with your HP pencil only numerical and number and all you can write with your HP pencil and these two are a solution and cutting plane is very very important write all the cutting points neat and legible the height of the uh, title that is height of the text is 10 mm the heading is section of Q okay section of Q you have to write in capital letter and height of the text will be 10 mm and below that you at the right bottom corner you should write all dimensions are in mm scale 1 is to 1 the height of the text here should be 5 mm so I think so this is the solution that's all if you do everything means you have to draw the border and you have to write the question number in the help of the pro circle link 20 mm gap from the left and 10 mm 10 mm 10 mm and draw the border and draw this diagram you can draw this diagram either in portrait or uh, landscape so my uh, preference is just draw this uh, section of solid full 
all the problems imported itself so that it will be very easy and looking good if you go for landscape means sometimes we won't get space here so that is the problem so i think so this video and uh, explanation will be clear in case if you get any doubt means you just type whatever doubts you get in comment section if you want me to solve any problem particular problem means you just type the heading or somewhat hit or you type the question itself so that whatever question you are giving i just try to solve the problem and upload in our youtube channel and do subscribe our channel stay tuned with our channel we will be bringing all uh, engineering graphics video already we have made for all the three units so remaining units also we will try to make and upload so kindly give us support us and share with your all first year friends so that it will be very much helpful for them during their exam preparation thanks for watching this video have a great day